Hello, in this video we are going to cover the scroll view container, which is also an object obviously. And a scroll view allows you to group a bunch of objects and scroll through them. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory what it is. So to add one, just go to the container section, get a scroll view, add it on. You might be wondering what this little orange thing down here is, we'll explain that in a moment. So if we just scroll down, you can set uh, the, the scale 9 grid to true if you want to. If you first of all you have to set a background so first of all let's see what we got clipping so if I were to check this that orange bit moves so basically anything that is outside of the scroll view is not visible so most of the time you probably will want that on at least I think so and then the next part is the actual scroll area so I'm just gonna leave this off for now so if I were to increase the scroll area to I'm gonna increase the height to 400 as you can see the orange bit has increased in size the scroll area is basically the entire container because if you have a look the entire thing is green if it's not selected that's the scroll where this orangey bit here which you can set a background you can change the color you can remove the color is basically what is visible if you have clipping on bounce back we'll show you in a moment when we actually start running the application Scroll direction, vertical and horizontal, pretty self-explanatory. If you do horizontal, you obviously scroll left and right, and you would most likely want to adjust the scroll area accordingly. So instead of having it like 200 by 400, you would have something like 400 by 200. Something like that will be more appropriate. But again, it's the same, just the other way. So I'm just gonna demonstrate vertical direction. And vertical and horizontal, pretty self-explanatory you can scroll both ways and as a result you most likely want the scroll area to be bigger for the width and the height and then for the fill you we can set a gradient set solid so if we set solid and change the color to I do like red so change that to red we can do a gradient as well and again if you don't want anything set this to 9 if you want a background or if you don't want a background just leave it so I'm going to put it back as a gradient I'm going to leave it like that so you can change the colors, opacity, direction these properties are relevant to what you have in the fill selection so if we scroll up you can you can change the size right here and that size corresponds to this part of the scroll area basically where you're scrolling and what will be visible if clipping was enabled so if we if I change this to 400 as you can see it that's what is visible so if I scroll down as you can see this has increased in size one second and try and reduce this to 300 it doesn't let me the lowest it goes is 399 which is what the what's it called the size was set to automatically so as a result you can't have the scroll area smaller than the size so that's just something to bear in mind I'm just gonna undo because it was a good size for demonstration Oop. there we go and I'm just gonna change this to 200 and let's actually add some items adding items pretty simple so I'm just gonna get a button get a checkbox Get a label, get a bitmap label. I'm gonna put that here. That'll be to demonstrate the clipping. Get another button. Finally, I'll get an image. I'm not gonna obviously set any of these objects because that's depending on what you want, just illustrating how to use the scroll view. But if I were to run this now and zoom in, as you can see. I can scroll but I can't scroll outside of it even though this is still technically part of the scroll area object or scroll view object I should say you can only scroll within this gradient section so it's as simple as that so if I were to click the button I can click it if I try and click the button here that works as well so that's just something to bear in mind but if I were to watch this scroll down I mean it's select the scroll view first select clipping anything that's not inside the size of the scroll view is ignored it's basically clipped so if I rerun this just zoom out or zoom in never know what to say for that one and I start scrolling I can scroll but I can't see anything outside but what I'm gonna do is just put the button here 
as you can see I can press the button before I try and click it here even though I know the part of the button is there it's not clicking that's exactly what we want so you might be thinking it doesn't feel the best and generally it doesn't, it doesn't feel very dynamic how a lot of devices especially when iOS uh, implemented the bounce feature back in 2007 with the iPhone with the, with the first one and if I select bounce back let's rerun this I'm going to zoom out and now if I go to the edge it's not it's not static it's dynamic it bounces back it just adds a bit more realism to it but it's totally up to you what you want to do so that's how you use a scroll view we recommend messing around with the scroll area try the horizontal scroll direction vertical and horizontal once you've done that add a background change these sort of properties and just try and actually create something that you would see in a real game you might be wondering how do i use this in my project so that's cocos 2dx cocos 2djs not going to cover that because Cocoa Studio does not support code and this is a Cocoa Studio tutorial but don't worry there will be a link in the description to our Cocoa API guide which covers how to access your scroll view in your project. If you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php don't need to remember that there will be a link in the description and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.